Hello everybody, my name is Inspirasper, and a lot of you guys have been asking how I get the top row of lights to light up when I'm making my Launchpad light shows. So I decided to make a video about this, hopefully this uh, little tutorial will help you guys out in order to get the top row of lights to work. If you have uh, Launchpad S or Mini, then this doesn't really apply to you, because you can just naturally get the top row to work. But with the Mark II and the Pro, uh, for whatever reason, it wasn't a feature that was implemented. Uh, so you ha have to use um, an external plugin in order to get the top row to work. So I'm going to try and explain that today. Uh, you'll need Max for Live in order to get this to work. And in order to get Max for Live, you need Ableton Suite or Standard Edition. And then once you have that, you're good to go. You're going to need to download this external plugin which I'll put the link in the description below. You can go download it there. But you're gonna need this plugin made by Sign and Music, also a launch pattern. So you go subscribe to Sign and Music for making this awesome plugin, for making this possible. But once you download it, I would recommend putting it in its own folder, like I have here, the top lights folder. Um, I'll explain why that is in a little bit, but. I would recommend putting it in its own folder rather than just, you know, out on its own on your desktop or something. But once you have that, we're going to go into Ableton, which I have in this other window. Open up Ableton. The reason why I recommended that you put the file in its own folder is because in Ableton, you have the ability to add shortcuts to folders. Like, for example, the MIDI extension folder where I explained in another video how to set up the MIDI extension device where you can put in MIDI files and trigger them at a button. I have that folder at my disposal right here on the left side of Ableton. It's basically just like a shortcut instead of going to your finder every time and trying to locate the folder and drag and drop. You can just put it right here. So all I did was I hit add folder and then I went to my top lights and I hit open. I already did that. That's right here. And so once you do that, you have this um, file that you need to get the top row to light up. And we'll use that in just a little bit. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a MIDI clip real quick by doing Command Shift M, or you can right click, so I can get my piano roll. And then I already have this set up for my Launchpad Pro, my Pro and Channel Six. The recording arm is on, so. I can actually uh, show you guys where the top row is. So, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna have to drop this file onto your MIDI track. Just click over here, left click, and then drag, hovering over anywhere on this track. And you'll see that there's a paper icon, and you can just click and it'll be there. But I already had it set up. You only need one, so don't do what I did. Just drag it one time, and then you're going to want to click this uh, blue button, or it will be gray at first. It'll look like that. You're going to want to click it and make sure it's blue, and that enables the device. It's turned on now. And then you are going to want to select your launch pad. So as you can see, I have my Pro, so I selected my launch pad Pro. If you have the Mark II, click that second box. So now that the device is on the MIDI track, where you are using your lights, you can actually get the top row to work. And so, you can light up the side buttons, or the, the bottom. If you have a Mark II, you don't have these buttons. But, on the Pro you do. You can light them up just by touching them, and you'll see, as long as your recording arm is on, that you can see which notes they are. It corresponded to like this button right here corresponds to E6. And so if I have them in my piano roll, if I draw on a bunch of notes going up a semitone for every 16th of a, a bar, then you can see that it just goes down the side. And if I copy and paste this same uh, like movement, then you notice it does the same thing on this right side. And if I do that again, you'll notice it goes across the bottom. So naturally, you would assume 
that after this bottom, you would think that if I draw in the same same thing, going one up from the one semitone up from this last note, that the top row would light up. That's what you'd think. But actually, it's a bit strange because this is the note that we think would light up the top, right? It does nothing because after this point, after E8 and beyond on the Pro at least, that's then your launch pad, it's out of scope. There are no more notes that correspond after that. So, the weird thing is you actually have to go down, and this applies to the Mark II, I believe, as well. I don't have one, so I can't, I'm not 100% sure, but on the Pro for sure. You go down to your lowest note, and this bottom left is C1, that's the lowest note, and you simply just go one semitone down from that C1, so there would be zero. And then you can click, you can keep drawing in the eight semitones below B0, or the seven below, but the one including B0, are your top row. That is your, that are your top row lights. So these are your top row lights. And you can press play if you have them going down the semitones like that. Then you'll see it just moves across your launch pad. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Make sure that you have um, this uh, file, this external plugin, downloaded and on your computer. In order to get it to work, you need Max for Live, which requires um, Ableton Standard or Suite Edition. But if you have all that, you can download this plugin if you haven't already. Drag and drop it onto your MIDI track where you're using your lights. Then, to get the top row to work, you go to your last note, the lowest note, the bottom left, and you go one semitone below it. And then you have your top row lighting up. You'll see that I use that a lot in my videos, and a lot of you have been asking about that. And so hopefully this explained it, you know, and thoroughly enough for you. I did, tried to take it a little slow because I know for some of you it can be a bit confusing. But hopefully it wasn't too slow. I don't quite have a judge of time at the moment. But hopefully that explained what this does and how to get it to work a little better. So yeah, now you can draw in. I just made a little rainbow, so now it's just going to... Move, move, uh, Rainbow's gonna move across the top like that. And then you can, you know, copy and paste this same thing on the, on the sides, and maybe on the, the bottom too if you want, and just have some sort of pattern like this, which looks pretty nice. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this helpful. Hopefully this pertained to you, or at least answered some questions you may have. And uh, you can, now that you know how to make the top row light up, I'm sure you guys will make some awesome light shows. So thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. And I will see you all in the next video. See ya.